Welcome back, everybody, to another Pokemon Adventures podcast. A short from the Every Pokemon Episode Ever podcast. I am your host, Professor Chris G, and I am here to tell this long story, this enjoy, enjoyful story with you here today. And today we are going over Chapter 4, Wanted Pikachu. So, I'm going to kind of recap what happened in the last episode to kind of catch you up to speed with what's going on here. So, the, in the last episode, the episode revolved around Blue trying to capture a Kangaskhan. But the Kangaskhan seems to have been hurt as, Char as his Charmander was using its flamethrower and fire spin all on the Kangaskhan, and the Kangaskhan had a baby that was injured inside of its pouch. Red noticed this and tried to stop Blue from capturing this Kangaskhan by sending out his Poliwhirl and wetting his Charmander. And then he went over to the Kangaskhan and gave it what looked like an antidote or a potion. It made the baby okay again. They let the Kangaskhan go free. Blue got irritated and was like, man, if you didn't come come over here, I would have been able to capture this Kangaskhan. I would have been able to add it to my Pokedex. But whatever, I'll go and capture me some stronger Pokemon. Professor Oak was in the background. He saw everything unfold. And he's like, man, my grandson and my new protege. <laughs> the path to becoming the greatest Pokemon trainer of all time has gotten more competitive. Good luck to you both. And they all and they both went their separate ways, which bleeds us right into our chapter four for this week. Wanted Pikachu. Now, <clears throat> it, it says that this is Pewter City. In the West, that is where we are now, and that is where Red has traveled over to. But we start this episode with a rumble in the streets, and you see a bunch of people just chasing after something. They're like, get it! Hurry! There it goes! And Red's like, huh? What, what's going on? And a, a flyer f flies off the wall. Wanted. Pikachu. Mischievous electric mouse reward for, for capture. Pewter City Merchants Association. And Red's like, so that's what all this fuss is about. Guess I'll give him a hand as well. And then you hear grumble, 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 grumble. And then in the next frame, you see that everybody has cornered this Pikachu. And one of the people are like, We've got you now, you pest. Another one's like, that's the last time you'll eat my produce. Get it! And Pikachu just dodges away, uses this agility. And then goes straight over into the next frame and is eating one of the merchant's apples. And the merchant is like, oh, I got you now. And it takes a net and tries to swoop it down. And it actually swoops right over to Pikachu. And Pikachu's like, huh, you didn't think this through now, did you? And then Pikachu gives it a nice little thunder shock. And <laughs> it's, th this comic is kind of funny because it used a lot of, a lot of like hashtags and ands and the at symbol and the star indicating that it's probably saying something that kids should not be saying in this moment as Pikachu is letting out this thunder shock and shocking the mess out of them. And then it gets loose from the net and they're like, hey, it's getting away again. Get it. And uh, they all go running after it again. And Red's like, tis, tis, tis. I can't watch any more of this. Okay. Bulbasaur, go! And Pikachu's like, P? And pew! Here's Bulbasaur. 
And everyone in the town's like, a Pokemon! And then I, I, I can just hear the battle music right now from the old red and blue game. Dun, 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 dun. And Pikachu is snaring from ear to ear. And then Pikachu lets out a thunder shock and it shocks Bulbasaur. And it looks like it got red at the same time, too. And one of the uh, people in town, they're like, oh, man, it's no use. And then the dust settles, and it looks like Red and Bulbasaur are okay. And Pikachu's like, P? And Bulbasaur, or at Red's like, now it's our turn. Bulbasaur, attack! And then you see a, sh a seed shoot out of Bulbasaur's bulb. Bloop! Poof! And you, all of a sudden, you 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 hear, patta, 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 patta. And Pikachu's like, and then you, Red is like, <laughs> perfect. Start with sleep powder, then finish with this. And throws the Pokeball over it. But it looks like he just fumbles the Pokeball. And then, bloop, gotcha, Red goes. You see Pikachu is now captured inside of its Pokeball. And it looks real, real aggravated. And everyone in town is like, yay! And Red's like, now that's how it's done. People in town, one, one person's like, young man, you've saved us. That pest was ruining our businesses. And then we wish you'd come a long time ago. Where are you from? And Red's like, I'm from Pallet Town. And then we go to the next frame and it seems like the whole town is celebrating by giving Red some food. And they're like, but what brought you here? And Red's like, want to know? And then he whips out his Pokedex. Then just watch while I do this. And then we go, bloop, and we get the Dexter or the Pokedex entry for Pikachu. And it says Pikachu, mouse type, type one electric, Height, 1 foot, 4 inches. Its weight is 13 pounds. It's a little hefty Pikachu. And the attacks that it knows is Thundershock, Thunder Wave, and Quick Attack. It says, when several of these Pokemon gather, their electricity could build and cause lightning storms. It says, forest dwellers, they are few in number and are especially rare. The pouches on their cheeks discharge electricity at their opponents. The Pikachu are believed to be highly intelligent. And that is the Dexter or the Pokedex entry. And Red's like, hmm. So this wild Pikachu came out of Viridian Forest to live in the city? And everyone's like, what an awesome device. And Red's like, it will be. There are hundreds of Pokemon in the world. Once I collect all their data, I'll have a complete Pokedex. And Red's like, uh, huh? And you hear a little bit of rattling going on. And Red's like, hey, cool it. And Pikachu is inside of its Pokeball. He's like, what's with this thing? Pikachu is basically attacking the Pokeball from the inside. Red's like, well, okay then. And he takes Pikachu over to a safe spot right outside of town. And he lets Pikachu out of its Pokeball. And it looks like they're having a small conversation that we have no subtitles for. But then Pikachu starts sparking its cheeks. And Red's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't be so stubborn. How about we try to be friends? Okay, Pikachu? Pikachu's like, hmm. And Pikachu's like, spark! And it just sparks the mess out of Red's hand, and Red's like, ah! And then we hear, geez, you look cute, but you're taking it easy on that Pikachu, aren't you, Red? And then Red turns around, blue! You'll never feel your Pokedex playing around like that. I'm embarrassed to have you for a rival on this quest. And Red's like, Err, what was that? A fight, huh? 
and then they're just looking at each other. They're both getting ready to throw out their Pokemon. And then Blue is like, but first, my impetuous friend, allow me to let you in on something. This town's gym leader, Brock, is looking for someone worthy to fight him. I intend to do so and win the Boulder Badge. And we get a nice little picture frame of Brock and the Boulder Badge in the same frame as Blue seems to be gloating. And Bl and Red is like, the Boulder Badge? Blue's like, don't you know? The Boulder Badge can boost the attack power of your Pokemon. Every trainer knows that. And Red's like, well, sorry, you bleep. And you see the action. <laughs> A lot of things that Red's probably saying that, again, they don't want people to have kids really say. So they're just censoring themselves. And Blue continues. So here's my challenge to you. Let's see which which of us can win the Boulder Badge first. Of course, it shouldn't be much of a mess since you can't even train an electric mouse. And Red's like, I'll take that challenge. And Blue's like, you'll regret it. <laughs> oh, and one more thing. Brock is a rock Pokemon trainer. Your little electric mouse won't be any good against him. Well, good luck. And he walks away, but then a, a flyer flies out of Red's back pocket. Red's like, what a jerk. And then he looks down at the flyer. Calling fighters. Pewter City Gym Leader Brock will take on all challengers. Red's like, so the next challenge is tomorrow at noon. Let's do it. Blue is going to be sorry he ever. Whoops. Almost forgot. The Pokemon I brought with me are low on health. First thing in the morning, I need to go to a Pokemon Center and get these guys healed. We go and jump to the next frame. Next day at the Pokemon Center. Grumble, 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 grumble. You see a bunch of people outside just talking and then we see a big notice sign it goes notice our center was damaged yesterday by unknown vandals we will reopen when our machines are running again we apologize for any inconvenience and red's like no way he's like that means the only one i have who's at full power is this one and it's pikachu and pikachu is like rattling around inside of its Pokeball, still aggravated with Red, it seems. And Red's like, huh, huff, 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 huff. And he walks over to the Pewter City gym. And he walks in through the door. Bam! Yay! Yay! You hear a bunch of the crowd just cheering. And everyone's like, yeah! Yay! Fight! fight and then you see a charmeleon in the ring <sighs> yay kill kill and that is how we end this episode so how did you guys like this episode things seem to be starting to heat up and we're getting ready to jump into chapter five which is onyx is on and i'm I'm going to suspect that there's a Pokemon gym battle that's getting ready to happen in this next comic. But who knows? I mean, we're seeing a lot of things go on in the in this Pokemon adventure. And Red did just confirm that he only has three Pokemon. He has a Bulbasaur. He has a Poliwhirl. And his newly caught friend, well, <laughs> not friends yet. Pikachu, and he's getting ready to face the rock type um, Pokemon gym leader Brock pretty soon. Will Blue be able to get the Boulder Badge first, or will it be Red? 
I guess we'll have to read on and find out. But it's that time of the show where um, I have to get the plugs in. So if you follow us on Twitter, follow us at Pokey Breakdown if you do not. And also go and find our Patreon. Just Google our show or go to patreon.com slash every Pokemon and become a subscriber, everybody. Um, if you have if you just listened to this episode, the next episode is already out, everybody. That Yes, it is already out. You can go ahead and continue to follow this wild adventure that we're going on on the Pokemon Adventures podcast. And also, as I announced on the previous podcast, I am starting up the Pokemon Specials is what it's called. And I will be going and doing the Japanese version translated on Patreon. And that is not going to be on the free feed. It's a little bit more of raunchier context. There are um, some differences in the translated version. And the only way to find out is to become a Patreon. And... Go ahead and go on there. You can go on there month by month. You can grab these podcasts. You can listen to it and also stay on there and support our show because becoming a Patreon helps everything and helps all creators going forward for our show. So also, if you are listening to this podcast, I really encourage you to listen this upcoming Friday for another new episode of the Every Pokemon Episode Ever podcast, where me and my host, my co-host Doug, are going down the big rabbit hole of reviewing every Pokemon episode ever. And <clears throat> currently we are going down the Orange Islands and Pokemon Black and White. So go ahead and listen to those episodes this upcoming. Friday, those episodes are not kid friendly um, like these Pokemon Adventure episodes are, but they're still fun. If you're over the age of 16, I encourage you to listen to that podcast. It, it's, it's a great podcast to listen to, and me and Doug have a great time going over that every single week. But other than that, that is it. Again, Chapter 5 uh, for the Pokemon Adventures podcast is called Onyx is On. And we saw a Charmeleon. So we will find out whose Charmeleon is this. So other than that, that's all that I have to say for this week's show. Thank you for listening. It was a pleasure doing this episode. And I am enjoying every last bit of this podcast with all of you out there. Thank you very much for listening and I will see you on the next one, everyone. Have a good night.